Hi there folks and welcome to another episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. This is going to be a shorter video, but it's just going to be a little bit of an organizational. I just need to straighten up something in my shop that's driving me crazy. And I'll show you what it is. Since the onset of recording, you know, with said devices, the, the, the GoPros and the Canons and the other GoPro, uh, I've got a mess here when it comes to battery charging. And look at this nest of wires and stuff. And it's just not, you know, organized. It's a mess. I have this drill press or drill bit holder here. My drill press is now on the other side of the shop. It's no longer over here. So I'm going to take this down. I'm going to build me a new shelf that I can put all this stuff on and just let's say organize it a bit because I got a couple of my DeWalt chargers and I want to have everything on my charging and I've been threatening to do this for quite a while. So today's the day. I'll drag out my little bench on wheels. We'll plug in, uh, let's plug in this whole apparatus here. Now this is kind of its own little mess, but it's okay. It's got my belt sander and my bandsaw, which is what I'm going to use most of right now is the bandsaw. We'll bring the old Dewalt, we'll hook it into the back of the, the old bandsaw to keep the uh, noise to a minimum, or I should say the dust to a minimum. I think first things first, we need to take that old shelf down. Here, I have it held up here with just a couple of Torx wood screws. Do I have any in the bottom? Nope. Oh, we'll set that aside for now. Move a couple of templates out of the way. And a couple of my Felpro gaskets for the old four cylinder and six cylinder Mercaroosers. I'll have to find another home for those. This screw is particularly full. <laughs> I have a handful of those already. Now, the business at hand, how much space we got here? Yep, about 37 inches to the toolbox. About 32 inches, should fit with no problem. I was only gonna make it one of these deep, but Something tells me that I should make this twice as deep. 18 inches. I think we're gonna have to go for it and just make it twice as deep as I planned. There, had another piece of wood. I think we're gonna do something a little along the lines of this. Yep, that'll work. I'm gonna cut this corner to corner here. One thing I do want to do is the part that's going against the wall, I want to cut a little bit of a gap in here. And that gap is going to serve me a purpose of allowing me to have places to run cords down through. There again, nothing too precise here. Where'd my pen go? Oh no, there it is. So I'm just going to do a little something like this.
Alrighty folks, we've got that project completed. Now let's take a quick look and see how it turned out. Now keep in mind, I wasn't trying to make it perfect. It was just one of those projects I wanted to knock out, but take a look at this now. I've got everything that I had down below here. That was all in this pile down here. Now I got to move my Allen wrenches back where I want them, but I got to put everything up here. So I'm currently charging the old 4,000 amp JF Eggwo. It's got the 18 watt fast charger. It's already gone from 77 to 80% in a matter of a couple of minutes. But check it out. Now everything's spread out. I can find it. I've got a safe place to set stuff. Won't roll off this lip. And yes, it's not perfect. I'm not a woodworking genius by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, now all my cords can be organized a little bit better. I can actually, I need to do some cable management under here, but I like how that turned out. Now that was just a quick little project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it might've given you an idea just to create a charging shelf. As I guarantee you, you have any kind of tools in your life. I'm guessing there's a few battery operated tools and it is a nice place to have these things charging. So I got my batteries I keep here charged for my DeWalt stuff. Then I got these, you can find these online for hangers. These particular ones are all 3D printed. Uh, so I can store all my extra batteries up there. I got my batteries on charge that are here. And you know, my tools are always been over on this other side, hanging in a holder that I made, you know, a while back. So, well, Maybe that sparks some idea, some interest, something that you guys want to do. Sometimes it's just nice to take a break from what you're really always doing and just organize one little piece. Now when I come out here, I'm excited. I'm going to be excited to come out here and go, cool, all my batteries are here, all my you know cameras here. Different things are just going to be so much more accessible now, and I've got a nice place to leave it, and it can charge, and do so it's already up to 81%. I'm kind of curious how long, how fast this thing will charge back up. It jumped a car three times and it brought it down to 77% on this JF Eguo. And uh, keep in mind, I just did a video on this a while back. Go back a few videos, you'll see where I did a sponsored video for these guys. I've got another one coming up soon uh, from those folks on another product that they have. There again, I don't, and you guys seen it and you guys love comments. I don't endorse anything I don't believe in. Because I tell people when they want to want me to sponsor a video, it's like first it's got to fit the channel, the content of my channel, and be useful for my, the people that follow me. Second, it has to be worthwhile. I tell them people that when they send me stuff, I said go ahead and send it to me. If it's junk, um, I won't do a video on it, and I'm going to keep your product anyway. So if you really believe in what you're selling and what you're trying to push push on me, you know you got to be able to commit that I might keep it and I might not put a video out for you. And you guys will never hear about, <coughs> excuse me, you guys will never hear about those uh, types of products. So anyway, I still got a little more work to do on my bench here to get it cleaned off. We've got several more projects going today. Uh, that would just wraps up one, gets that out of my head. I'll quit thinking about it now. And I get my head gets so full of different thoughts and things. And I got to do this, got to do that. Boom, check, gone. All right, now I'm waiting for the weather to kind of perk up a little bit out there because it has been threatening rain and I don't want to uncover a boat and get to working on a boat um, if it's going to come in and start downpouring on me and I got all my tools laid out everywhere. So, well, let's get finished cleaning up this area and we'll see you guys on the next video. And remember folks, if it ain't broke, fix it till it is. Get out there, get a project done, one hour. Do something one hour a day. That took me less than an hour, I'm pretty sure, to do that. I had a lot of this wood already cut, laying around. And I thought, well, a couple little more cuts here and there and I can put this together. And it's solid, it's not going anywhere. You saw, I put it together with wood glue and brad nails. I also put it together in a fashion that I could go ahead and hang it right away and it's already gonna support itself and do all the things it needs to do. Uh, it's going nowhere. Yep, cool. Thank you and have a good one, folks. I'll see you on the next video.